What's up guys, welcome back to Total War Warhammer with our Empire campaign. Currently fighting the Chaos in the North and the Vampire Counts in the, I want to say South, but it's really only South of our territory. Uh, kind of in the middle-ish. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's see what we can do. I think it's just time to end turn right now as we typically like to do at the start of an episode. I can issue a commandment in Whistleland. That is okay. How are we doing with corruption? We need some beer here. Uh, like super bad that should be going down I mean this should make it even so it should be alright why are you guys so grumpy though events corruption taxes okay so we'll try to stabilize this area and then we will uh, switch that over to corruption reduction okay let's see what you need to build everything apparently um, I mean walls are nice don't necessarily need walls down here I feel but I think you know it's not necessarily a terrible investment the vampire counts could pop up at any moment maybe uh, yeah so we took out Kolek I believe or no we took out did we take out Kolek I think we assassinated Kolek just like the most miracle assassination from that little tiny empire dude that's super low level the, the little captain guy I think I remember that happening. I'm really itching for a fight right now, so we may go poke the bear a little bit, even if it's not super wise. But I'm not necessarily known for my wisdom. I don't know that I ever will be. Let's go poke the bear. Where see like they just keep doing stuff. I don't Are you guys just fighting with Bretonia? Are you trying to go get the Vikings because there's just some sort of weird bug? That happens, like, because I told you guys to go do something while you're my vassals, and wow, we're surrounded. We're just so surrounded. Let them, let them, ah. Tribute, fine. I wanted to be angry, but. We'll go ahead and level this guy up. Actually, that might not have been wise. No, it's okay. Um. See what we have going on in here. This is. Eric Ziflin. Okay. Look at all of these guys up here. It's just ridiculous. Can you come kill one of them? You have that turn penalty, don't you? Um, you go ahead and encamp to replenish. And if you wouldn't mind killing approximately everyone, we can't afford it. Excellent. Um, can we afford it if we cancel the moot upgrade? Yes, we can. Excellent. This is much more important. Let's, uh... Who do we want to inconvenience? Let's inconvenience you first. Get out of here, please. I said please. Um... Charge bonus is what we were going for on him. And Gelt is going to replenish for another turn or two just to finish up his army replenishment. Too many replenishes. Uh, we have seven turns left on this siege at the moment. Essen needs some dairy. We really need to just take Kislev's lands. But, I don't know, maybe that's where Archaon is. Maybe Archaon's up there. Didn't really check the, the warriors down south. Maybe that's Archaon. Is that Archaon? That actually looks like Archaon. I thought you were going to be brave and go for him. I would have helped. I would have reinforced you have all those little armies over there. I don't understand why I don't use some little big army. Go that way. Just go that way. I feel like we have so much vision on the map that I just kind of want to do that. <laughs> we'll just have to pay a little bit better attention. Uh, this is our, our dude that's going to go deploy over here, actually. Let's go deploy him. That's going to be working on... Uh, I think Franz's quest, perhaps. We'll deploy him. We'll check real quick. The Silver Seal. Yep, that's going to be Franz's quest for the sil Silver Seal. Wow, guys. I'm doing so well today. <laughs> that is Kislev, and this is Assassinate and Undead, which we can't because he's camping out in his cities right now. Can you win? This is not Archaon. I was wrong. That, there's Sigvald. I'm assuming he's got three hell cannons. At least he doesn't have just all chariots all the time. Uh, if you could come 
help over here, that would be excellent. Success, you're just like the luckiest person in the entire world, aren't you? You still have a 30% chance of success. <laughs> Get out of my house, please. And thank you. Um, we have Heinz Van Zanger over here who is going to be getting some Grand Hammer of Sigmar. And a horse. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so our public order is not doing super well in Talabeckland at the moment. Uh, where is Kemperbad? That is over here. So we kind of need an army over in this area. We don't actually have one down here except for this one who is supposed to be capturing what a bunch of jerks. Can I confederate you? Border princes, you betray me. We're going to have to go down south soon. Wow, we really don't need all this stuff here. Um, let's go ahead and just break this. Let's check real quick to make sure... There we go. Let's check to make sure they don't have anything special here. It doesn't look like they have anything special. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just break everything, basically. And uh, we'll get some economy buildings going over here. As well as some... Wow, public order. Super, super public order. Okay, Castle Drakenhof. So we still need to get Waldenhof, which is up north, which we don't have to worry about. Um, hmm. I feel like maybe we should go swing around and take Oversteyr super fast with uh, Franz's army and then come back. They have, like, no garrison at all and no walls. Let's go do that. Fight for our nation. We'll just auto that. We will, uh... Hmm. We're gonna loot and occupy it. I see no other option. And there goes the Witch Hunter. Okay, cool. Overstire, we need to get some walls up. And we need to get, like, a cathedral up basically let's get the shrine of sigmar going guys and uh we'll get some economy coming in some monies sounds pretty reasonable i think okay so we got that going that's good vampire council only have one city left which is awesome he may sally because we moved franz away which would actually really suck but he can't move anymore um, if that happens, it's fine. You know, we're not super far into the siege. I know it gets a little tedious, but I... I don't know. I didn't want them to have extra economy over there, helping them out. Uh, I also didn't want them to pop up an extra army over there. So, I think... I think we should be okay. You need... You need that one. Can we, like, just force march you in here? What, what happens if you go into this area? Is this bad for you? Are you going to be okay? You're going to be okay. So we're just going to bring you over here, and you're basically going to go take Schwarzhofen. All right, now I want to I want to fight up here. I want some fighties. Let's get some fighties going. We can't actually get our Empire Captain over here. Maybe we should actually just sit for a minute and, uh, and think about it. Like, perhaps we should get the Steam Tank. I feel like perhaps we should get the Steam Tank. And then if we need to, we can drop one of our spears, get the Empire Captain back in. We will hang out for six turns for a steam tank. How does that sound? I think that sounds unbelievably reasonable. Rulek Sidious is up here, which we do have an army somewhere. We don't. Is your garrison good? Your garrison's not bad, but it's not the greatest. We should probably prop up a little army over there. We have this guy right here. Interesting. Uh, we're going to give him blue line. And we will march him to Gorsal just in case. So maybe no fights? I'm still not sure. Do you have... Nope, you don't have lightning strike yet. We don't really need lightning strike yet. You have a decent-ish army. 
And I've never seen the Hellblaster volley gun, so I think we might just go attack him. And then retreat back to Hergig. If we can make it. Let's do it. I wanna I'm gonna drop a quick save and we're gonna fight. Why is that so just unfair? I wanna fight it just because I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen the the arty piece that we're doing, the, the field gun. I've never seen it. I have a hell cannon, which kinda sucks. I wonder what the range on that is. Probably on ours, I mean. I know the hell cannon. But I don't know, we have two crossbows, two handgunners, so we should be able to get really good shots off on things. We have the hill advantage up here, uh, as well as the hell cannon having a range of 420. Ours have a range of 230, so very short range. Um, but that that's okay. So I think we're gonna march and just take the hill. I don't know what I've been playing where right mouse is uh rotate the camera but it's just super bugging me right now let's go ahead and do our front line of spears hopefully this will help prevent against just the most amazing uh, you know what? let's make this a little thinner we're gonna drag you guys out some box up just a little bit because they do have they do have the cav or the chariots they also have cav mostly worried about the chariots do something like that uh, and then we'll get these guys over here in the middle which this hill is probably just gonna absolutely ruin all of my plans we're gonna put the great swords over here into the trees along with the hand gunners over here into the trees uh, and you guys all go on guard these guys I'm feeling kinda throwaway about them like I don't know I don't necessarily want to protect them I guess we have more spears, so it's okay. We can protect them. So we'll put them up here on this hill right here. Which they won't be able to do too, too much. So maybe they should actually be out front. We'll leave them here. Uh, and then we'll put a couple of spears around them. And we'll do something like this. So we'll have the... The great swords along this way. The hand gunners along this way. Okay, so... If anything comes to this side, we should be able to poke it down really easily. Let's go ahead and move you guys up to the top of the hill. Like so. They're not going to move because they have the advantage. The, the right click thing. <laughs> it's not really working out for me. Let's go ahead and put our spears up here. And I still want to leave the, the great swords back here, but I don't think that's wise. So we're going to go ahead and put the great swords up along this way. This unit of spears we're actually going to bring out over here. We're pretty much just going to have to eat shots until we get these guys in range. And then retreat like immediately or abandon them entirely. Or march off the hill. Which, I'm leaning towards off the hill. We'll go down this way. We'll move up. We'll bring the handgunners uh, up here on the hill. And maybe that'll work out. What was that? Are you a wizard? You are a wizard. I'm so sorry, little guys. Ooh. That was a nasty shot. That was our great swords, too. That is unfortunate. So, uh, let's put these guys over here. Actually, grab this one and bring you over here onto the flank. Hellblaster Volley Gun is now in range, so now they will move. I just, I want to see what this looks like. I'm going to go slow mo because I've never seen it fired before. And I hope it's glorious. It looks pretty glorious. Okay, I think I think this was a good move. I think this was a pretty good move. Are we are we winning? Are we getting good we're, it looks like we're getting good shots in. It looks like it. I need to be picking the targets. Uh, but other than that, it's doing some pretty good work, guys. 
Let's go ahead and speed up. Zoom out some. This thing in the back is just going to absolutely wreck us the entire time because we don't have cab to go for it, which is super unfortunate. Uh, they have spears along this way, or they have all their cab over this way. Let's go ahead and bring our... I want our missiles on these guys. We'll bring our handgunners over here. And we have a unit of spears here. Let's get the chariots. This isn't going to go super well. We'll bring this unit of great swords over here. Their front line is just getting kind of murdered right now. Those chariots are also getting kind of murdered right now. Okay, the dogs, the dogs turned. So that's good. I want you guys to just merc all of these people. Chariot got through, unfortunately. I think we just kind of like clump up on everything because those guys are never going to go forward. Handgunners got charged by their cav. Interesting. There's their leader over here. You guys could get in there. I'm going to pull back this unit of spears over this way. Come back up the hill, handgunners, please. Why don't you turn and shoot these guys? How about that? Great swords are just hanging out. I'll get the chariots. You lost the chariots. Okay, that's fine. I feel like our crossbows are they're completely tied up. This one's okay. That was an amazing hell cannon shot. Our flagellants flagellants are unbreakable. Handgunners are okay. Put them over here. Shoot down in the sides. Hellblaster volley gun is doing good work-ish. I know these aren't armored, so it's not the ideal target. But it is better than nothing. And our spears with shields are just hanging out with our wizard, basically. Crossbows are now firing at things. These spears are winning against the chariot. So that worked out quite well. Alright, let's go ahead and, like, kill everything, please. We definitely have it. The Hell Cannon did quite a number. Unfortunately, it's not going to route, so we are going to have to chase it. Are you armored? You are armored. That's unfortunate. I guess I could have just done that to begin with. Uh, I definitely need to get better about sniping the Lord. So as soon as he dies, everything should just shatter. Should. Should shatter. <laughs> Another just incredible shot from that hell cannon. I don't know, I feel like the, the power bar just super lies about stuff. Um, just gonna everything, just go kill this, please. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, the power bar. I feel like it's not necessarily super accurate, because... I don't know, that Hell Cannon had just the greatest range advantage on me. I guess I could have just hidden in the woods or stayed in the woods, but at the same time, like, what would that have... That wouldn't have done anything. I couldn't go out and do anything. I don't have cab at all. Uh, so he definitely needs to get some cab in his army. I might drop these flagellants uh, for 
one more great sword and then you get a couple cav in this army i'd really like the hellblaster volley guns i think they did some pretty good work uh 83 kills 49 kills and i didn't even micro them because i'm a bad this gun should be dead soon let's go ahead and just speed it all up these guys are almost in range i'm just gonna have them move up here so they don't fire at it all right cool yeah, I feel like that balanced power bar was just a huge lie. That hell cannon did so much work. I want to see how many kills it got. We didn't even break the cannon. Two hundred and sixty-three kills. That is so much. That thing killed over ten percent of its army by or our army by itself because I don't know. I guess it could have ran. Hines out there after the front line engaged and then the AI would have just basically let it happen um, I don't know I feel like I needed him there to help support the spear line but we won I wanted to fight I got a fight we killed that dude he's not dead yet but he's over this way and you sir can still make it back here oh did you not even have a full army or did we just lose stuff I wasn't really paying attention at the end um, I definitely, I like using the spears. I feel like the spears versus the shield, or the swords, it's just not that big of a difference. So the swords have, let's actually pin the swords. So the spears have less melee attack, but more defense, slightly less strength, and no charge bonus, which is fine. They're not meant to charge. They also have anti-large and charge defense against large. So I feel like just versus the basic swordsman, I might as well go spears. Um... Just because they're not meant to kill things, they're meant to hold. No, not for you. Did he just tell me no? no? I feel like he did. Did he just tell me no? Alright, can you make it back? You can't make it back unless I, like, force march you. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and level you up. Uh, we'll get Route Marcher, I guess, and that way he can get bonuses up here. No, we'll get Inspiring Presence. Uh, we'll go down his red line because he's just mostly going to be defending. And I think that's all of our moves. We're light on money. Franz has moved. Everyone's moved. Volkmar's sieging. Shiro's in the army. Okay, let's go ahead and turn. Maybe we can get another battle in. I would enjoy that. I knew that was going to happen, you dirty little monkey. Like, alright, do we fight it? Do we fight it? It says we're going to just get spanked, basically. Um, his garrison's pretty good. Last time, I feel like I retreated and he left reinforcement range of his garrison and then we just won? Hmm. If we could snipe Manfred and this... Uh, I'm assuming that's like a White King. If we could snipe both of those... We might have a chance, but this army doesn't have cav either. We have a Jade Wizard for healing versus the Vampire healing. I feel like the Vampire healing would be a lot better. We have two Paladins, basically. Um, and our front line is Spears and Flagellants. And they have a lot of Graveguard. A lot of Encrypt Ghouls. A lot of... Let's retreat. <laughs> knew that was going to happen. Ah, uh, I knew it. I don't want a non-aggression pack with you. Bretonia is probably busy retreating again. Oslin would like to become my vassal. I'm going to counter-offer by not confederating you. Interesting. Um, how about you just pay me some money? Um, <laughs> you gotta check guys sometimes you'll succeed maybe I should have only done 300 instead of 3000 that's okay Talea is now gone we should probably go down there and see what's going on Imminent Rebellion in Sterland and Ostermark as well so that is Wurtbad and then where is where's the other place I guess I could just come up here Ah, that's all the way up here. Is that Essen? 
Oh wow, that's Essen. Um, let's level you up quick. Shield of Faith. Ward save. Allies in range. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and grab that. The good oh, news is I can try to assassinate one of them now. Uh, I feel like we should just force march over to Essen real quick. This is why and get the the public order back in check a little bit and reduce some of that corruption a little bit replenish his armies again a little bit and i mean what's he gonna do he's gonna go for eshin but i'm pretty sure the last time he went for eshin the garrison beat him somehow uh we really need to level up eshin bring me to my men see Oversteyr. we're working on getting everything upgraded uh, i could just start sieging him again and he'll probably sally but i feel like this army would probably be better equipped to handle him. We have, we have Franz. We have some cab we could use. We have handgunners to try to snipe Manfred down. We also have a lot of crossbows. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Fort Oberstar. What do you guys think? I feel like maybe I should have left it. We have nineteen thousand gold though. That's pretty good. Um, we also have this rebellion here which we can't really do anything about I don't think you're here I guess I could put you in the moot okay so now it's no longer imminent uh, which is good we can level you up and then when we level you up that'll give us public order and we can also get some beer coming in we'll go ahead and level up the economy a little bit and I don't know I just I still want to pick a fight with someone but Gelt is going to be busy for another five turns. We still have these guys down here. Let's try to kill one of them. Nope. Your orders. And sure. Okay, we failed finally. Well, that's that's okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. Is that an enemy army right here? It is. It's Siggy. Awaiting orders. That's unfortunate. We're under siege by Siggy. Maybe this is the fight we always dreamed of. Uh, let's have some glory, guys. I'm just going to walk down here. He's probably going to run away. Alright, and Talibheim. There's something in Talibheim for us to get as well. Uh, it was Blazing Sun Chapter House, which we can't afford. So we will just wait. Next turn. Next turn. Alright. I think that's actually going to wrap this episode up. Unfortunately, we don't get any more combat, but we should get plenty of combat next turn uh, because I'm assuming the Vampire Counts are going to leave their city and attack one of the little areas, so we'll probably have to do some sort of, like, 300-ish style Spartan hold uh, with the garrison and possibly lose, probably lose, but we'll also be able to fight Prince Siggy and maybe kill some more dudes over here, and we still haven't found uh Let's check down here real fast. Just to see, like, who's down here? Who is this? That... Okay, he's just a Bjornling. Okay, Eric Swartzen. So, there's nothing super terrifying down here, from the looks of it. Just Bjornlings all over the place. Just everywhere. Okay. I think we'll be fine, guys. We should be okay. So, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.